solving logarithmic equations. In this lesson, we're going to solve some logarithmic equations, specifically these three problems. Solving logarithmic equations is not, I believe, my strongest point as a teacher. Nevertheless, I hope to show that by using the change of base formula coupled with graphing calculator methods, these equations that might look intimidating to an Algebra 2 student can really be made easy. The change of base formula is helpful because many logarithms do not have logarithms of base 10, and these keys on the graphing calculator are the log base 10 and also a natural log, the ln key. In analyzing any other logarithms than in base 10 or natural logarithms, the change of base formula is very helpful. The change of base formula is shown here, which is the log of x to the base b equals the log of x to the base k divided by the log of b to the base k. The base k can be any positive integer, but most often it's convenient to have the base k to be 10, since that's commonly available on calculators. Here's an example. How do we find the value of this logarithm, the log of 12 to the base 7? Using the change of base formula, we know that the log of 12 base 7 is equal to the log base 10 of 12 divided by the log base 10 of 7. And now we have something we can work with in our calculator. Using the log key on the calculator means log base 10. We get as our answer about 1.28 rounded to the nearest hundredth. If we type in ln 12 over ln 7, which is log base e, we get the same results. So the key thing is that the bases being used in the change of base formula need to be the same. Before we move on, we'll do one more thing with this, and that is to check our work. We'll take 7 to the power of 1.28. If we were correct in using the change of base formula, we'll get something a little over 12. And we get this, just a little over 12, demonstrating that we solved correctly. Now we'll solve our first test formatted problem. Solve the following equation. Log base 2 of quantity n plus 3 minus log base 2 of quantity n minus 4 is equal to 3. The first way we'll look at this is to go to the y equals view. Now here's where we have to start using the change of base formula. Start by entering the log of quantity x plus 3. Be sure to close parentheses. Then we divide by the log of 2. I hope you can see that all we're doing is applying the change of base formula to the equation in this problem. Next, we again apply the change of base formula and subtract the log of quantity x minus 4 divided by the log of 2. Then we go to the table view by pressing second, then graph. We see that for the input values of 0 through 4, the expression is undefined, but we're looking for the input value that gives us the output of 3. So the corresponding input value is 5, so 5 is our answer. Another way we can solve is by graphing. For that, we go back to our y equals view. We keep everything we have there already since this method starts out the same way. Then we solve the equation for 0 by subtracting 3. We do that because when we bring the 3 to the left of the equal sign, it becomes minus 3. Now we can graph by pressing zoom 6 or graph. We see the graphed curve crossing the x-axis at about x equals 5. We verify this in our table view by pressing 2nd, then graph. We see the solution, or 0, at x equals 5. Let's look at using equation solver to work the problem. First press math, scroll down to choice 0, solver. Press enter. Clear out the last equation by pressing the up arrow, then clear. Now we enter the first part of the equation using the change of base formula. We have the log of quantity n plus 3 divided by the log of 2. And then we enter minus the log of quantity n minus 4 divided by the log of 2. And finally to solve for 0 on one side we do it by subtracting 3. Then we solve by pressing alpha enter then alpha enter. And we again get the answer 5. Note that we were able to use n in this mode and did not have to switch to x. Let's look at this problem. Solve the equation log base 10 of the, of the quantity 3 minus 2x equals negative 1. Stop the video and solve for x, then restart the video to see if you got it right. We'll look at the three ways of solving this problem we checked out earlier. First solving by graphing. Go first to the y equals view. Now we enter the left side of the equation. The nice thing about this equation is that since the logarithm is already in base 10, we don't have to use the change of base formula. The next thing we need to do is solve for 0 by adding 1 here. Remember that it's plus 1 because to make one side of the equation 0, we need to do the opposite of subtracting 1, and that is adding 1. 
Next, press graph or zoom six. We see that here that the graph goes through the x-axis between one and two. What's the only one of the answers that gives us between one and two? It's this one, 1 1.45. So that could be the only possible right answer. And even if it happens not to be exactly right, we need to keep in mind that when in doubt, we're really looking for the best answer. We can also solve using the table view. If we go back to the y equals and have just the left side of the equation entered, from here we can go to table view. We see here that at x equals negative 4, we do not have negative 1, so that eliminates answer B. And here we see that between negative 2 and negative 1, which is where answer C, the negative 1.45, has to be, that the output is not close to that and cannot be negative 1, so we eliminate answer C as well. And if we see where x equals 4, we see that the output is not negative 1, but an error. So we eliminate that choice, choice answer A, as well. Again, that leaves only answer D as a possible right answer. In the interest of full disclosure, I attempted to use this equation to solve the equation using Equation Solver and could not do it. Here's the equation entered in Equation Solver. Then I tried to solve by pressing Alpha Enter, Alpha Enter, and this is my result, error, non-real answer. And then I did a lot of things to try to make it work. I went to mode and changed the number type to imaginary and got error, no sign change. I tried limiting the right and left boundaries. I plan to let my rep with TI, Rob, know about this and see if he has an answer or can find the answer or show me how to do it. And I'll do a response to this lesson to handle it. For now, I'll call it an unsolved mystery or idiosyncrasy. One last way is to solve by substitution. Press 1.45, then the STO or storage key, then the X key, then enter. Then enter the log base 10 of quantity 3 minus 2X. And you should know that the log key on the calculator means log base 10. Press enter. We get negative 1, showing again that D is the correct answer. Now this problem. Solve the following equation. The log base 4 of 6 plus the log base 4 of X equals the log base 4 of 18. Stop the video and solve for X, then restart the video to see if you got the correct answer. Of the problems we've looked at today, this is the one that I could do most easily without a graphing calculator, but be consistent with what I believe is the best chance for you to get a correct answer to this problem. We'll look at our calculator methods. Even though the equation solver let us down the last time, and that's the only time it's ever happened to me in hundreds of uses, we'll use it first here by going to math, then go down to zero, solver, then press enter, clear out the equation by pressing the up arrow, then clear, now we enter the first part of the equation using the change of base formula by entering log base 10, 6, divided by log base 10 of 4. Then we enter the next part of the equation also using the change of base formula, plus the log base 10 of x divided by the log base 10 of 4. And finally we solve the equation for 0 by subtracting the log base 10 of 18 divided by the log base 10 of 4. We subtract because we need to subtract it for that right side of the equation to be equal to 0. Now we solve by pressing alpha enter, alpha enter. We get our answer, x equals 3, which is answer choice B. We can also solve by graphing. We go to y equals and enter everything as we did in Equation Solver. Press graph or zoom 6. With this view, we don't see exactly where it crosses, except that we know we can eliminate answer A, which is 0, and answer D, which is 18. There are many ways we can go to take a better look, and we'll start by changing the view screen window. This is the standard window view. Note that the Y min is negative 10 and the Y max is 10. We're going to change the Y min to negative 1 and the Y max to 1 to get a lot better look at what's happening on the X axis. Now press graph. Now we get a real good look at the curve crossing the X axis at X equals 3. And we can also check the table view and see that at an input value of 3, the output is 0, again demonstrating that B is the correct answer. We've gone over some problems solving logarithmic equations that might look difficult but by making them pretty easy using the graph and calculator. To better understand what is really happening with logarithms, I invite you to see my other lessons on logarithms I created last year, 2009, and encourage you to read and consult your teacher. This has been Solving Logarithmic Equations. Thanks for viewing.